Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Martz. All right, double alligator. Woo, got a nice little reflection here. Okay, so isn't this interesting? Now, the tree is causing a shadow over the alligator's face, but let's take a look at the snout. Uh, they say if you measure the snout up to the eyes, okay, say if it were nine inches, then it would equal the length and feet of the alligator. And so again, take a look quite a bit of length from the eye down to the snout and all the alligator not all the alligators today but a lot of them have this reddish color from the clay that's in the soil and so what they're going to do is they're going to be tucked inside a gator hole the mud hole and they do something called brumation and they're only going to come out if it gets warm enough you know it's supposed to be if it's above 70 degrees um, now I'm trying to figure out what happened at the end here. I can't tell if some of the scoots got broken off. I, you know, I never thought about the scoots being protected at the end, but a lot of alligators could be attacked when they're little. In fact, I saw a smaller gator today that was not orange, and it looks like he was totally missing a foot. Um, because you see back here, the back leg should have some feet, and, and I didn't see any. I just saw like a ball at the at the end of the leg pretty sad and it almost looked like it was swollen so all right guys well still continuing it's after five o'clock have a great day